Now we come to the intrinsic muscles and the intrinsic muscles are the muscles that originate and attach within the bones of the appendicular skeleton of the, of the foreleg. Now, before we start dissecting these muscles and understand their function, very key points you must understand to be able to comprehend the function of each muscle. The first thing that we gonna start with is the flexion angle of the joint of the foreleg. For instance, the flexion angle of the shoulder joint is this angle here on the caudal aspect, from the caudal aspect of the distal end of the scapula to the caudal proximal aspect of the humerus, this angle here. This is the flexion angle of the shoulder joint, which means every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. Every time this angle gets larger, it is extension. Every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. When we come to the elbow joint, the flexion angle is in the front of the joint, this angle here. So every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. Every time this angle gets larger, it's extension. For the carbus and the digits, the flexion angle is at the back of the joint. So for the carpal joint, the flexion angle is here. So every time this angle gets larger, it is extension. Every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. For the digital joints, it is the same. The flexion angle is on the caudal aspect of, of the joint. So for the forelimb, the flexion angles are for the shoulder, it is on the caudal aspect of the joint. For the elbow joint, it is on the cranial aspect or in front of the joint. For the carpal joint, it is at the back of the joint. For the digital joint, also it is at the back of the, of the digital joint. Let us simulate that. Let me move this apart, okay? Let us look at this, okay? This is the right forelimb, okay? This is the flexion angle of the shoulder joint. So every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. Every time this angle gets larger, it is extension. So depending on the action of the muscle, we look when the muscle contracts, it will tend to do what? If it's reducing the angle, it is a flexor. If it is increasing the angle, it's an extensor. Okay? Now, if you look all the muscle that located on the caudal aspect, of the shoulder joint, when they contract, they tend to flex the shoulder joint. So only according to the location of the muscle, we can figure out its action. So if the muscle is located on the caudal aspect of the joint, that muscle, when it contracts, it will tend to flex the shoulder joint. It will tend to reduce this angle. And all the muscle that located in the front or cranial to the shoulder joint, those muscles, when they contract, they will tend to extend the shoulder joint. So flexion and extension. When we come to the elbow joint, we said the flexion angle is located in front of the joint. So every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. Every time this angle gets larger, it is extension. So every time, the radius and ulnar, the antebrachium, when it moves away from the humerus, it is extension. When they move close to the humerus, it is flexion. That's why all the muscles that insert on the olecranon tuberosity, they tend to move the antebrachium away from the humerus, so they are considered extensors of the, of the elbow joint. And all the muscles that attach to the cranial aspect of the antebrachium, they tend to reduce this angle, so they are flexors of the elbow joint. When we come to the carpal joint and the digital joint, we say this is the flexion angle. So every time this angle gets smaller, it is flexion. 
every time this angle get larger it is extension so all the muscle that located as the caudal aspect or as the back of the carpal joint and the digital joint when they contract they tend to flex this joint and all the muscle that located on the cranial aspect of this joint when they contract they tend to move the four pole cranial so they extend either the carpal or the digital joint so again the flexion angle is key to understand the action of the muscles the flexion angle of the shoulder joint is at the back of the joint the flexion angle of the elbow joint is in front of the joint the flexion angle of the carpus and the digital joints is located on the caudal aspect of each of each one